Hello, and welcome back to the 10th anniversary Desert Ranger playthrough on Vintage Fan Gaming. I'm glad you can join me today, as we're just starting to get into this character during a little fallout break. So we are currently waiting for everyone to wake up to do the Ghost Town Gunfight quest. And we're going to do some exploring around town, or at least outside of town. Uh, while we wait for that. So I'm going to head off a little north here. And we're gonna, you know, just see what's over here. I remember there being some shack to grab supplies. And some kind of memorial thingy that's, yeah, that's it. That's not coming to me right off the bat. Yeah, there being some coyotes around here. Yeah, there's one on my compass. Alright. No coyote. Ah, oh, yes. Here we are. Devil's Gullet. Okay, so this is actually representing a location here in real life, known as Devil's Hole. And I know it because I'm a giant National Park fan, even though I've never been there. It's a detached part, and this is not a congruous part, of Death Valley National Park. And it's got the only, this only known location of this species of fish that lives only in the hole. But... I'd like to note that the difference here... Okay, you're bugging me. Oh, wow, there's two of you. Alright, decapitated one coyote, and you're heading to over. Get me out of the danger zone. Um, you need to be careful. It's dangerous out here. Wow, gotta love New Vegas. They just have random things happen at random times. Um, I don't know why Victor is here, but since I haven't talked to you this game, get lost, buddy. Well, sure you can, friend. But everyone needs a hand from time to time. Maybe you return the favor one day. See you around, buckaroo. Buckaroo, really? Wow. Uh, yeah, I love New Vegas. Sometimes he's just nonsensical. And yeah, he's just... Yeah, he's now stuck in a rock. Yep. Where's Victor? Stuck in a rock with a glitchy screen because, yep. Anyways, yeah, and I just like to note that this place was tra pretty thoroughly trashed and they dumped chemical waste pre war. I mean, it's hard to say in this universe, but this is one of those examples of maybe this universe. I don't know. Maybe they got what they deserved in a way. I don't, don't want to say that. But this is not a nice universe. Like, it's hard to have much sympathy for a place that can do this pre-war. And I'm pretty sure this was pre-war. At least I've always had pre-war. Well, if anybody can have uh, any in-canon uh, evidence to say this is like post-war dumping... Um, I'd like to see it, but yeah, it's just, it's always bothered me. This has always bothered me. I'm, I'm not that, like, I guess I am an environmentalist, but, uh, even in digital form, I guess that bugs me. <laughs> All right, we're going to go off and explore this memorial. Sorry to go off on that tangent there. 
but yeah, no, this is not a nice universe. See, like, even pre-war. Oh yeah, the Yangtze Memorial. Um, if I remember, there's some things that dig up around here. Yeah, right over here. Um, now, for the longest time, I always thought this is the strangest place to put a memorial. Like, how many people from this area could have possibly gone? And then, you know, I've traveled around and, you know, moved around the United States. And I found myself out west. Um, and I wound up in a couple museums in Wyoming that mentioned some, I forget the percentage, but a rather large percentage of their state went off to fight World War I because it's not a very big state and quite a lot of people went to fight. Oh yeah, and there's that check I was talking about. And now I'm kind of thinking maybe the Yangtze campaign in China in this universe is something like that. Something so monumental, so all-consuming that it just took all these people from just the Nevada, Southern California area. Because, I mean, I think that's what this region's supposed to represent. And, I mean, I don't think they put a national memorial here. So I always feel like these are just people. Oh, wow, I didn't realize you were so close to the death clause. Um... But yeah, I always, uh, I always just thought these were local people. Or, oh, now I think these are local people. And uh, with that Wyoming thing in mind, yeah, maybe this really was like an all-consuming World War III type event pre-Great War. I don't really go into that in war very much, but I would like to see some more on what caused everything to go wrong. Or like, you know, how society looked pre-war. And you get a little bit of that fallout war. Hello, Jet. Alright. Sure, I'll take it. Oh yeah, that's not as useful as, as Fallout 4, which I've played more recently than this. Alright. Well, it's, uh, it's life. Dirty water. There really wasn't much in here, but I'll take the corn. Take the machete, too. Well, we can sleep in here and wait. Yeah, let's just do that. Yeah, let's try to get that well-rested bonus if we can. Yeah, minor dehydration. I'll take care of that when we get back to Good Springs. Oh, hey, this guy. Got that. Hello there. It's good to see a friendly face. I almost took you for a raider, I did. Name's Malcolm. Malcolm Holmes. Don't suppose you'd care to trade. I'm missing a few essentials and... Ah, oh, screw this. Lying just ain't in my nature. I'll tell it to you straight. I've been following you for a good bit now. Mm. It started off innocently enough. I was traveling, as I often do, and happened to observe you picking up one of those blue star caps. You didn't show any reaction to it, so I figured you didn't know what you'd gotten your hands on. What's so special about these caps? Oh. There's an old wasteland legend that says somewhere out there is a fabulous treasure from before the war. Those caps with the blue star on them, the tale goes, are the key to that treasure. They're called Sunset Sarsaparilla Stars. Eh, thanks for the info, but I gotta get going. No problem. If you do end up trying to collect more stars, watch out for a man named Alan Marks. He's killed several people for their stars already. Okay, this is going to be a slightly unethical, but... I want to do the ghost fight or ghost town gunfight quest um, as like effectively as I can to try to get as many of the checks as I can just because I enjoy it. I'm short on barter, 
But this guy's got the trader hat and trader outfit, which will give me 10 barter, which is more than enough to uh, do this. And since he didn't spawn anywhere near a town, I'm not going to annoy anybody if I, uh, let's just say, remove him. You like that? Oh wow, you can do a lot of AP. Oh wow, it's just disabling a lot of his limbs. Oh wow. Wow, he had 54 bottle caps on him? Okay, and 20. Wow, he's pretty well appointed for a guy with no weapons. Yeah, so. One thing about the Desert Rangers is they're not always ethical. They're not paragons of morality or virtue or anything like that. Although, am I heading in the right direction? I don't think so. Alright. Now I am. Okay. That feels more correct. Coyote. Oh, my coyote friend. Alright. Yeah, why am I? It's just fast travel. There's no reason to walk that long distance with nothing to do. It does make time pass quicker, so sometimes I don't do it. You might like catch me walking around quite a bit. I should have just gone down to Good Spring Source. That's alright. I remember there should be like a sink I can drink of out of here. Howdy. Yeah, I think there's a bathroom. And it's a sh This one isn't. Alright. This is one of the slowest things about early survivalist characters, but since I'm trying to not use stim packs, I'm just gonna heal up here at the sink. It's really reliable. New Vegas uh, has very few rads in the drinking supply. And they give in universe, uh, but this is way more viable playstyle than, uh, especially early game. I would not suggest this past, like, level 5. <laughs> you have way too many hit points for this to take too, too long. Yeah, I'm already most of the way there. But yeah, um, we're going to talk to everybody now that we got that barter outfit. That'll get us a few extra caps along the way. Sorry, Malcolm Holmes, but you serve other no purpose other than an exposition dump for that one cost that I forget. Um, and to give us more stars. I'm not kidding. If I remember correctly, he just goes to the Mojave Outpost and uh, despawns. Should I just put the... Yeah, Roving Trader. Yeah. Plus 10 barter, yeah. There you go. So you're planning on taking on Joe Cobb's gang. Yeah. It's a big oh, risk, I but I suppose you have to do what you think is right. Ah, I need 25. Really? Yeah. You know what? If I remember correctly... There's a Be careful out there. Sneak. There's a sneak. Um, oh, Hello. If I remember, I'm one off, and that's. I remember perception. So yeah, mentats. Alright, and I should too talk to. Uh, once I take this, I'll go talk to the doctor as well. Oh. Howdy. What can Easy Pete do for you? 
Too dangerous. Gonna kill all yourselves if I let you touch it. Better to leave it buried. Safer that way. Ah, I'm five off. Uh, yep. I, anything. Keep your gun handy if you go poking around some of the abandoned places around here. Like this. Ha ha, I do. Howdy. All right. I, I, I'm not going to be. Told you before. It's too dangerous for a bunch of amateurs to handle. Uh-huh. Guess you know what you're doing. I'll go dig it up and get it ready. You'll have it by the time the fighting starts. Normally, I don't uh, do all this, but I yep. I haven't done this quest in probably years. And I haven't done it like a completionist version of it. And I can't tell you how long. So, I'm just going to enjoy trying to get all the speed checks I can. If it doesn't work out. Eh, it doesn't work out, but I'm gonna try. Yeah, I never used to take the in-game drugs till Fallout 4, and that made me made me realize the utility in here. Mentats got me most of the way, even though the magazine could have done it. Welcome back. I had hoped you wouldn't need to come see me again so soon. What can I do for you? Seems like wherever I go, it's always the same. Folks just never leave each other alone. Oh, I'm not much good in a fight with my bum leg. And my supplies are scarce. But I'll give you what I can spare. Oh, nice. You don't even need a speech check with him. Uh, that's, that's super nice. All right. You take care now. Yeah, Doc Mitchell's freaking great. I love him. He's he's the best. Ah. I don't know why. I think it's because I played Subnautica recently. I'm just used to clicking on everything. Uh, <laughs> oh, I love that at Good Springs. The uh, little big hoarders just wandering everywhere. All right, let's go get the leather armor from Chet. You looking to buy some supplies? If Ringo doesn't head out on his own, I think we should hand him over. The town shouldn't get itself mixed into the problem. Don't mistake that for coward talk, though. We're a town of survivors. We'll fight tooth and nail if pushed, but we don't go looking for trouble. Yep, need supplies. I'm gonna need supplies. Now just hold on. I never voted to take on the powder gangers. That's a thousand cap investment you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, barter gang. I thought these were all 20 checks. Guess, uh, were they always 25 or? I'm just not remembering them. Feel free to comment down below if you know the answer. If this you made your point. I can provide people with some leather armor and extra ammo. Sure hope it's worth it. And, uh, I'll be guarding the store while all this is going on. I have to put my business first. You understand. You know, I used to think that was coward talk. I actually... Take it easy now. now. Like, it makes sense. He does have to be talking. And he's a businessman, doesn't want to put all his... Uh... Oh, wow. Plenty of leather armor. Cool. Now we got better, better little armor. All right, now the last thing I need is Trudy. And if I don't have a meeting people, which doesn't look like it, I know one of these houses in Good Springs has a Chinese stealth manual. So I've grabbed it on previous playthroughs. I wasn't planning on uh, using stealth this playthrough because, you know, I just feel like that might be a little too easy of a way to play the game. I'll take that. Why not? Alright. Buff out. 
Don't need the BB gun. Alright, I'm not. I'm going to try to look for it. Um, I'm going to check. I think it's in this house or this house. So. Oh, yeah, I guess these respawn pretty quickly. So, yeah, remember to check those mail mailboxes pretty hey quickly if you're. Uh, Yeah, there we go. Yeah, sneak increased by three. Nice. Um, so yeah, that should get us to Trudy. <laughs> Who would have thought I picked up a that skill book just for the speech check. I, I don't plan on doing speech checks like at all for this playthrough for the most part. This is just a special one because, you know, this is a rather fun quest. At least I've always enjoyed this quest and I've never, it's been a really, really long time since I've done a completionist playthrough. Feeling thirsty? I can take care of that. There we go. That does sound like a good plan. All right, you seem to know what you're doing, so you can count me in. Let me have a word with a few other folks, and I'll see if I can't round up some more members for this militia you're creating. While everyone does own a gun, we could stand to be a little better equipped. The general store probably has what we need in stock. Be careful out there. All right, we are uh, done talking to everybody. Trudy was the last one, so we're gonna go talk to Ringo and uh, get this party started. And this is what the Desert Rangers are all about: building up militias in towns, helping towns, f you know, defend themselves. I'm just checking the mailboxes. Yeah, see, two sneak things already. Just they constantly have really, especially if you have high luck. If you have high luck, mailboxes in Fallout New Vegas have some randomly really good stuff in them. Ah, empty. Ringo, you just standing in the corner. So what's going on? Did Sonny agree to help us? Yep. Well, I guess that means we're ready to go. Unless you think there's something else you can do. Let's do this. All right, I'm ready. I hope. Time to look alive. The Powder Gangers are here to play. All right, let's go. Oh, let's Easy Pete came through with the dynamite. Here's your supply. I really hope I don't blow myself up. I'll be set up near the store. Let's hope that the gang doesn't manage to make it that far. No, I'm not opposed to using St. Packs, and we'll do so. I, I, I'm really, I don't want to say I'm doing a no dying challenge, but I'm going to try to not die. I'm also going to try to limit my stim pack usage, but if I get into a tight spot, I mean, a Desert Ranger is all about practicality and pragmatism, right? Hey there. All right, I think there's some... Sunset Sarsaparilla I can pick up. Yes! Oh, thank God. This will help keep me healed. Alright, I got some weapons. Come on. Final leg. Ah. Forgot how annoying the uh, varmint rifle is. Right, let's just take a couple. 
Sunset sarsaparillas to uh, ease the pain here. I guess when you get everyone on side, they're too busy shooting at everybody else to do anything. Do they really just get good karma just for doing that? Ghost Town gunfight. Let's talk to Rinka. I owe you a huge favor for this. Here, these are technically Crimson Caravan funds, but I know they'll understand once I explain things. Yeah, those are great. I forgot how fun that was, especially when you get everyone on side. Like, last time I did that, I got none of the speed checks and just kind of got shot at by a dozen guys and died really quickly. They actually do. Like, if you really is just Ringo and yourself and Sonny, uh, you guys get pretty wiped out on the harder difficulties really, really quickly. I'll stick around for a bit longer, but I'll be gone in a few days. If you ever visit New Vegas, look me up at the Crimson Caravan camp. I do. I forgot how fun that fight was. Howdy. Oh, oh, look, I have a bunch of stuff to sell now. Oh. Alright, I'm going to leave it off on the completed Ghost Town Gunfight quest. Uh, if you liked it, continue to like and subscribe. Uh, we'll be continuing to put out about one of these a day. Uh, I hope you have an excellent day. And I'll catch you on the next one. See ya.